Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are back with episode 3 of Guys of the Wolf. In the previous episode, we had our first transformation into a werewolf, and tried to make a, well, we did make a potion that controlled it, but now we need to create a potion to cure us of the affliction, uh, of which we were directed to the library but found that we couldn't get through there the conventional way because the door was blocked so we had to go all the way around the outside complete a few puzzles and escape the wolf a couple more times so yeah basically we're about halfway up the east wing tower or now I'm at the bottom of the east wing tower uh, on the top there is another of those pillars that we need to destroy so uh, let's do a transformation Shall I take a second? There we go. That's boogie. Sweet. Oh dear. Should probably stop falling. Be ideal. Oh, don't hit me. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong button. Whoa. There's no need for that. I'm going to try not pickpocketed him. Okay, let's go, let's go. Checked with the guy at the beginning who we went past, and you can't pickpocket him. Uh, nothing found. Right. Okie dokie. Well, looks like we've got uh, something over here. Thorns. Um. A particular solution to this. Just an idea. I'm gone. Oh, it's opened. Well, that's good. Okay. Right. I am following. to transform back, I assume. Uh, there we go. Entering the upper halls. Okay. So I think we're getting more of the ingredients, aren't we? Just need to brew it, I think. Uh, is this the kitchen? Yes, it is. Okay. So, it's quite okay. Keep bringing that up. Uh, let's have a look at the herb dooby dooby dim. So, we need to make. Uh, the Night Watchman, don't we? 
to thistle thorns, apple seeds, horse chestnuts, and tree bark. Okay, thorns, seeds, chestnuts, tree bark. Okay, good. Uh, so there's the nuts. Uh, we need the seeds. We need the thorns. Where are the thorns? We need the. No. Ah, there's the thorns. Lily thorns. And what was the last one we needed? Thorns, seeds, chestnut, tree bark. Okay. Uh, tree bark. Potion is ready. Quite the night watchman. Yay, alchemist. With the Night Watchman, I can remain unseen by the wolf. I should seek her, Isabel, to see if she can help me, but first I must destroy the storm beacons at the castle as Filch advised. Okie dokie. Well, we should have enough money to leave now, shouldn't we? Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the exit's this way, isn't it? Uh, excuse me, monsieur. Oh yeah, we gotta actually leave. Sorry, my lord. Yeah, we already had this conversation. Thank you, my lord. You may pass. Be careful on your way. Okay. So now we need to transform again, don't we? Hang on, have we actually taken the potion? Uh, yeah, we do. It already does it, doesn't it? Uh, right. There we go. Right. Let's go pillow hunting. Seven out of twenty. Out of twenty. Finally managed to hunt them all down. That was a bit of a pain, but there you go. Such is life. <laughs> okay, let's find all these traps. Let's transform back. Right. So let's see what our next port of call is. With the night watchman, I can remember. Yeah, I should take it, Isabel, to see if she can help me. Okay, uh, take it Isabel was the daughter who was helping us out at the start, so she should be in the guest room, maybe? I don't have any better ideas. Oh, I could say, it's not locking the door. I don't get it. In here? 
Hello. Nope. Okay. What about the other one? Guess room two. Are you in here? So you are. I wondered if I would see you again. Hmm. You will find what you need in the drawer over there. Without it, the Count could not complete his plans. I am glad it brought you to me. Okay. An amulet. And a conitium. Isabel has given me a crucial ingredient for creating the cure. Once I have all the ingredients, I must return to the kitchen to test their mixture. I should refer to the herbarium for the list. Okay. We'll spin. So we... Moonflower, Wolf Blood, Aconitium, Morning Glory. Okay, I think we have all those. So I think we could just head straight to, um... The kitchen. Well, thank God for that. Let's get ourselves cured. Back to the kitchen. One last time. Right. So we need... We need... Uh... Was it made flower? Can't remember. Yes, it was weed flower. Okay. Uh, we need morning glory. We need aconitium. And lastly, we need the blood. Uh, so let's... Wait, what else do we need? Feathers, okay. See that bit? See it was right at the start. Uh, feathers. Okay. Wolf Spain. Senior alchemist. It's me. With Wolf Spain in my possession. With Wolf Spain in my possession, I have finally succeeded in my task. However, I should refrain from consuming it until I have fully understood Artemis's plans. I must seek him out and confront him. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Okay, they've not locked it this time. Good. Um, apparently, we need to put the amulet on this thing. Or not, maybe. Hmm. That was tricky. Okay, council key and the missing page. Pieces of the puzzle fell into place. And I realized that although Filch confessed to being the first alchemist to come here and had refused to help Artemis control the wolves, he failed to mention that it was he who wrote the alchemist Terbarium, and it was he who had created the curse under the command of the Count. Afterward, he turned against Artemis and refused to create another potion. Interesting. Okay. So it's the missing page. How oh, do we not get that? Whatever. Okay, we got the we got the key. So 
into the council chambers. Oh dear. This doesn't seem good. Finally, you've arrived. I must admit, I did not think you could accomplish your mission. But you've turned out to be quite the loyal beast. Hmm. Come now. It was really too easy. You brought Filch Shear to me, reclaimed the missing page, and have allowed me to continue ascent to ultimate power. <laughs> Imagine all the kingdoms bowing before my lupine army. Wolves that will bite the men and even women I command. Did you not know what wolf it was that hunted for you in the halls? Isabel is the most ferocious. She was quite willing to attack your carriage and have you turned. And now, with the final page, you can complete my works. You might not be under my full control as a man, but soon, you will be. Okay, time to end this guy's dastardly scheme. Dominic, you must kill me. Okay, Dominic, are you willing to cooperate with me this time? Oh, right, please jump on the thing, thank you, and stop. Okay, okay, right. Come on, change me back. Any time today. It's cool. No, no, no rush, no rush. Any time. Whenever you're feeling ready. Thank you. Come, hurry up. She's about to transform. There you go. You good? There's no hope for me leaving, but there is still hope for you if you can lift the curse and flee. Uh. Sure. Path of darkness. That's kind of dark. <laughs> what the hell? So, oh. Okay. That was a very weird ending, but sure. Hmm. Fair enough. All right. So, if you want me to give a summary of the game, it was odd. <laughs> very odd indeed. I mean, there was a story there. It was a decent story, I guess. Uh, obviously, it's definitely a bit rougher on the edges. I can't deny that. It is obviously an independently created game. It's not exactly something coming from Rockstar or <laughs> uh, Bethesda or something like that. So obviously, if a game was like this quality from them, then you'd be understandably a bit 
well, feel a bit weird about it. But as an independent game, it's actually not that bad. I'll give it, I'll give it that credit. It was a bit of a dark ending though. Um, but sure, I think we got the all the achievements. I'm not sure if we did. I'll have to check. I mean, I haven't actually checked through a list of achievements, so we'll do that in a second. Oh well, the game's quit for me. Good, good for that. Uh, oh no, oh the bad ending. That was the bad ending. Why did I get the bad ending? What the hell? What what am I missing? Rub all pockets. Kill more than ten humans. Collect two hundred thirty gold on the good ending. Quit the game less than twelve transformations. Quit the game being falling or being killed. Okay guys, so I have just looked up the requirements for the good ending. Apparently what we did wrong was pickpocketing all of the guards and that seems to be what forces you into a bad ending, that alongside killing people, which we didn't do in the playthrough to be fair, so it must have been that. Um, they also seem to imply that maybe if you don't pick the top option when given multiple choice, that might also affect your ending, I'm not too sure. But, just so I can get this series to four episodes, so it fills up for the week, which means I can start next week with a new game. And also, for my own sanity, of having a four-parter than a three-parter, I'm going to do one more episode, and that is going to be dedicated to getting the good ending, which would be a nice way to end this series, I suppose. Um, my making the differences that I said. I'm probably just going to be doing like a quick cut in, cut out, and what differences I'm making towards my original playthrough, I suppose. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, it's probably going to be quite short, but it is what it is. But before I hope, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My five Pampus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three Pampus patrons in the description down below. And on screen, you'll see credits to my one Pampus patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to help with the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if we should join those patrons, you can follow the link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode four, the finale of Guess the Wolf. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,